So Megan, we've got the third and final ODI tomorrow at Hove. Are there some nerves amongst the team heading into that? Uh, definitely. I think there are a few nerves, you know, after losing yesterday, which is unfortunate. But I think heading into it, we're pretty confident with, you know, how we played in the first one, the international. So it just made an exciting game. Do you think there'll be extra pressure given that both teams are equal in the series at the moment, that this uh, next match is pivotal, obviously, to who wins the ODI series and then takes the lead in the Women's Ashes series? Yeah, definitely. We're obviously both very evenly matched teams, so coming into it, I think there's a lot of pressure on everyone's shoulders, but I think we're all looking forward to it and it's going to be a real cracker as to who wins that one. And for the fast bowlers, there probably hasn't been a lot in the pitches so far. Are you looking, hopefully, hopefully getting a change in that tomorrow with the pitch that they've got lined up? Yeah, well, hopefully for myself there's a change in the pitch for that. But, um, yeah, unfortunately the spinners haven't been, uh, have been uh, taking a few more wickets than we have, which is unfortunate, a bit different to India. But, you know, they play a bit lower and slower, so the spinners are bound to get a few more wickets. Just hopefully the pitch is a little bit different for me. And in such instances, uh, bowlers like yourself, Elise Perry and Holly Ferlin, have had to change your tactics and what your role is in, in the team on those days. What's changed about your bowling on days where we've had pitches that have been more suited to spinners? Um, definitely for myself anyways, um, I just guess become a bit more of a containment bowler, trying to just make them score a few runs less and bring the run rate down. And you also made your test debut earlier in the series at Wormsley. What was that like to pull on the baggy green for the first time? It was the best feeling in the world. I think every kid dreams of, every Australian kid dreams of playing in an Ashes series. So to do that at such a young age, it's very privileged. Uh, which English players do you think we've got to watch out for on Sunday for the third ODI that will be the key to the England side? Uh, obviously Charlotte Edwards, she's uh, been in cracking form at the moment and Sarah Taylor and Brindle's been batting well up, up the order as well so I think those three players are very key to them and if we can get some early wickets we can hopefully take that last one day, one day up. And the second ODI didn't go quite as planned, it was a, a gettable um, total that England had set. What do you think changed the game and, and t took it out of your hands? Um, it's a tough one really, you know, with such evenly matched teams, the, it can go either way at any time in the match. I think maybe letting them get off to such a quick start probably did us in at the end of it, but in the end they bowled really well and bowled to their plans and hit to their field a lot. So I think really just they were really disciplined with their bowling and that's what got us. It's quite a busy schedule that you've got after this ODI. You're up to Chelmsford for the T20s and then you've got two more to finish off the series. So about four matches in the next week. How's the team feeling? Are legs heavy or are you feeling good at the moment? Um, I think everyone's feeling pretty good at the moment. Considering the uh, hit deck schedule we've had, I think we've been doing recovery and hydration. We're doing everything we possibly can to be as fresh as we can. So coming into those next matches, I think we're pretty confident. Are you looking ahead to the T20 matches at the moment or is the sole focus on winning that ODI series first? Definitely just on the one day into the one day series at the moment. Um, T20, that'll just come when, when it comes along. So we just really focus on the format that we have at the time. And with this new multi-format multi series of the Ashes, uh, Australia only needs to win a certain amount of games to retain the Ashes, whereas England need to win much more. Do you think that puts a bit more pressure on them? Definitely, yeah. I think for us, um, knowing that they have that extra pressure on their shoulders, it can be a little bit more um, of a crumbly feeling if they start to lose a few more wickets. So we definitely try and take on that and try and put as much pressure and get into their heads to know that they really need to win more games 